Camilla left moved as she pays tribute to Her Late Majesty the Queen. It was a symbolic gesture of devotion and remembrance from our current Queen to our beloved late monarch. Camilla was left very moved on Thursday as she paid tribute to her late mother-in-law as she marked the start of Royal Remembrance events. She spent a quiet moment of reflection at a memorial in honor of the Queen on ground to the north of St. Margaret's Church, close to Westminster Abbey, during a visit to the Field of Remembrance to honor the nation's war dead. Camilla, 75, viewed the temporary plot created for the nation to leave floral and other tributes to the late monarch after she had recognized the sacrifices of those who fought and died for their country. In the Abbey's Field of Remembrance, she placed a tiny wooden cross adorned with a red poppy in her new royal cipher into a larger cross made from the flowers forever associated with Flanders fields in the First World War. The visit came as the nation prepares for a two-minute silence at 11 a.m. for Armistice Day on Friday. Surgeon Rear Admiral Lionel Jorvis, president of the Poppy Factory, which organizes all the memorial plots at the Abbey, joined the Queen Consort as she viewed the site dedicated to Elizabeth II's memory. It featured two pictures of her taken at the Field of Remembrance in the late 1940s and in 2002, the year she lost her mother and her sister, Princess Margaret. Admiral Jarvis said afterwards, the Queen Consort was very moved and thought it was a lovely touch and said she was looking forward to seeing it filled with flowers. He added, Queen Elizabeth II did service in the Second World War, she herself was a veteran and it's poignant to remember her service as head of the armed forces throughout her reign, and there is no better place to remember her. The Queen Consort was joined by more than 1,000 veterans in the Abbey grounds where around 70,000 crosses and other symbols are laid out and 308 plots according to regiment, unit or association, by volunteers. The event has been running since 1928 when Major George House and MC suggested using land outside Westminster Abbey as a place where anyone could plant a poppy in memory of a loved one and two crosses were planted that year. Outside the Abbey the veterans and royal party observed a two-minute silence as Big Ben chimed 11 a.m., in remembrance of those who have lost their lives in defense of their country. Afterwards, Queen Camilla, wearing a green dress and the emblem of Colonel-in-Chief of the Rifles, a patronage she took over from Prince Philip before his death, toured the individual plots, chatting to many retired servicemen and women. Chelsea pensioner Peter Full in Love, 89, who served with the Black Watch, had met the Queen Consort before at previous Field of Remembrance events. He said, she said to me I remember you and I was a bit cheeky and asked her how's your new job going and she said it's fine. She also met Peter Carey, formerly of the Territorial Army 10 Para, who also works with the taxi charity for military veterans. They exchanged stories about 101-year-old Ron Johnson, a Second World War glider pilot who served in Operation Market Garden, the daring airborne mission to liberate the Netherlands and cross the Rhine into Germany. Mr. Carey has taken him under his wing. Mr. Johnson escaped from the same prisoner of war camp, Spangenberg Castle, as Camilla's late father Bruce Shand. Over the years Camilla has sent Mr. Johnson a signed copy of her father's book about his experiences, while as Prince of Wales her husband sent him a special bottle of whiskey to mark his 100th birthday, hand delivered by a member of his staff. They are wonderful people, it means a great deal to Ron and all of the veterans, Mr. Carey said. Jeff Borsak, who spoke to Camilla, said he had been in contact with her over his campaign to create a national memorial to Britain's 90,000 civilian war dead. It is the untold story of conflict, he said. Mr. Borsak's own parents were killed in Birmingham when a bomb landed on their air raid shelter. He was three at the time and only survived as they had taken him to hospital earlier in the day with measles. In the confusion, he was sent to an orphanage. We were the unseen, unacknowledged victims of the Blitz he said. Her Majesty is very sympathetic to the idea of a memorial. I have been conversing with her office. I am 85 and I can't be doing this for much longer at my age. Patrick Callaghan, 70, a resident of the Royal Hospital, Chelsea, and former serviceman with the Green Howards, said the Queen Consort stopped when she saw his uniform and remarked, you Chelsea pensioners are looking a lot younger these days. 
She's wonderful, he said. Queen Camilla also stopped to pet the mascot of the Staffordshire Regimental Association, the grandly named Corporal Watchman Vi. Naturally, a Staffordshire Bull Terrier, the friendly dog was with his hander W.O. 2 Greg Hedges. She's met him twice before, as well as his predecessor. She clearly loves her dogs, he said. Deirdre Mills, the chief executive of the Poppy Factory, which organizes the plots, said, Her Majesty's commitment to the X-Force's community has been unwavering. We are grateful to Her Majesty the Queen Consort for her continued support as we look to help hundreds more veterans overcome barriers on their journey towards employment.